girl I've ever seen. <laughs> what are you doing up there? I love you. What are you doing? Taking in the last little bit of my favorite place ever. Enjoy it. <laughs> Do you guys ever go on vacation somewhere or visit some place, immediately fall in love, and want to call it home? Well, San Cristobal is that place for me. This place has treated us all very, very well. <sighs> Some of the best coffee and chocolate in the world. It's amazing. This place is amazing. But unfortunately, that is not possible. It is time to keep this adventure going. There's so many more fun things planned in store, and you guys are coming with us. So today, we're actually heading out of San Cristobal. We're heading somewhere very, very beautiful. So let's hit the road. I don't think anyone really wanted to leave San Cristobal. We were all loving it so much from the climate, to the food, to the coffee, to the chocolate. There was so much that we loved about the place, but it's time to move on. So we drove three hours southwest down towards the coast, basically never touched the gas pedal once, just coasted all the way down from 7,000 feet back down to sea level. And now we made it and it is baking hot out right now. As we drove through the town, we saw people selling mangoes. It seems like there's mango orchards all around here. And we just pulled up to a turtle sanctuary. So we're gonna go see if we can stay here, go and hang out with some turtles. See what the deal is. Let's do it. Let's go. Wow, it is smoking. Yo. It is hot, dude. Yo, what'd you expect? You don't, you don't wanna come out here. Kaylee bought me this shirt yesterday. It was made by a indigenous woman of some tribe. Yeah, it's it's really really tight. <laughs> For, it's um possible for nosotros dormir aquí con uh, con los carros. Con los carros. Eh, posible. Si gustan esperar ahí, mm -hmm. la jefa mm -hmm. anda por tonalá. Mm -hmm. Ya no tarda en venir para que platiquen con ella. Y... turtles are about one month old right now so they're still babies and they they put them here to protect them from poachers because poachers will go and build and dig up their eggs but these turtles grow to weigh 50 kilos which is freaking huge so we actually found this spot on iOverlander and we didn't really know what to expect so we drove right up and there was a guy right out front that opened the gate for us and we got to check out some sea turtles and he said that we could stay here for one to two nights but unfortunately they don't need any help with the sea turtles but at least he showed us around a little bit and we got to see some. So I think we're gonna move the vans in there and then probably whip up some nom noms, huh? I'm starving. Starving, dude. Turmeric rice, which is Kaylee's specialty. Ooh. We got some grilled veggies. It's actually a Bob specialty. Shout out to Bob. That's right. We got some grilled veggies. And we got, we even cooked steak. Ooh. When's the last time we cooked steak in this bus? It's been a it's long been time. It's been a long time. That looks so, so good. We got some love. steak. Guys, look how perfect this avocado is. Ooh. It's actually a little underripe, but I kind of like it that way, so it's a little more crunchy. Oh, you like your avocado's crunchy, huh? That's great. Mm. No, it's not. It's not like a crunch, it's more so like a... Snap. Not a snap, just like a more firm smoothness. What do you say about this? What she's describing is not ripe. As long as it's not ripe, she likes it. So you like unripe and avocado? Not right unripe, there? just like right before it's about to be ripe. Well that about does it for lunch. I think about now. 
Gonna go check out the town? Gonna go check out the town! Gonna go check out Puerto Arista and just see what's going on. Gold. You guys see all those? Look at this guy. Oh, senor. Mucho mangoes. So we are basically in Mango Haven right now. Right when we pulled into this town, this whole place is just covered in mango orchid orchards. How are you gonna get one? <sighs> I'm not really sure. This guy's telling us that we should just pick them up off the ground. Look at these. The ground's covered with these. This is amazing. Ground ripened. Oh my god. Look at all those mangoes. Look at all these mangoes. Cheers. 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 Hey. Perfect ending to this perfect day. We just met two awesome friends, Martini and Smoothie. His name's not actually, his name's not actually Smoothie, but it's something else, but he told us to call him Smoothie. So it's pretty crazy being in such contrast in one day, from being in like 70 degree weather to almost 100 degree weather, back on the beach, coming from the mountains. Also being in a really touristy place to a very authentic, Mexican place. Totally. There's not very many tourists here, if there's any at all. It's just a, just a typical Mexican beach town. Yeah. And me and Jordan were saying earlier how <clears throat> I feel like while we were in, in San Cristobal, we were spending so much time going out to eat and walking around and really just being extremely extroverted. I feel like now we're back on the beach, kind of away from the touristy areas. It feels really, really good to kind of slow down and just to be with each other again. Yeah, it definitely feels really nice <laughs> just to be someplace quiet, someplace without service. Totally. Off the grid for a little bit, mm -hmm. just meeting new people, hanging out, drinking some smoothies, <laughs> they need some chips. Did we tell these guys that this place is for volunteers? Did we tell you it was for volunteers? Yeah. Well, I don't know if we told you this, but people come here to volunteer specifically during the fall, because that's when all the turtles are. Right now, there's no turtles. We were hoping that they were going to be able to give us some sort of work to do, but they got nothing. But we get to <clears throat> reap all of the benefits that being a volunteer gets, which right. includes this shower Ooh. and this bathroom. Ooh. How do you feel about that? Just remembering the little things in life, man. Have, who would have ever thought? Would you ever thought that this little spigot it's just like gonna bring you so much joy. <laughs> it's gonna bring me so much joy. We have to give Lola a little bath too because she's all sandy. She was rolling around on the beach. Yep. So this is gonna feel so good. It's been over a week since we've showered. We're nasty, but this is gonna be amazing. Oh yeah. Oh wow. That. Felt better than I could ever explain it to you. If you've ever gone a week without showering, maybe if you've been camping, or maybe if you lived in a van, you know how good that feels. Gary's just finishing up here, and then we're gonna get into our clean blanket that we just got washed yesterday in our clean sheets. Sometimes it's just the little things, and it just feels way too good. Come on, good girl. Come on. Come on. Come on, we're gonna cut over here. We're gonna cut right here. Good girl. Good oh. girl. Oh my gosh. so sweet. You're the best girl in the world. And that's where we're gonna wrap this one up. This is the end of the video. We're gonna hang out here. Life is good. Life is damn good. What an easy, simple, beautiful day. Living van life. Living in our little school bus. And now we're gonna let you go. That's all we got for you folks. See you next time. See you next time. Peace Adios, out. Adios,